Welcome to this training video, module 2, Greengram Crop Management. So, let's get started. In the first video, we said growing green gram can be easy. However, I must add that it will only be easy if you know the right thing to do and when to do it. That said, during the life of the green gram plant in your garden, here are a few tips to ensure the best yield from your crop. Weeding Weed control in mung bean is very important so that you reduce competition between the mung bean and weeds. Weeding refers to the removal of unwanted plants from a garden. At least two weedings should be done. The first one done at 20 to 25 days, which is about three weeks after sowing. The second weeding can be done six weeks thereafter. Applying fertilizer. Mung bean requirements for phosphorus, potassium, calcium and sulfur are similar to other legumes and they must be met by applying fertilizer if the soil is deficient in these elements. To ensure availability of calcium and sulfur at economical rates, you can use gypsum at 200 kg per hectare. Diseases Mung bean is susceptible to diseases caused by fungi, bacteria and viruses. The main disease that affects green gram is powdery mildew. You can detect it when you see whitish growth under the leaves. These diseases can be controlled by removing infected crop debris, crop rotation, use of resistant varieties, or application of 2 to 3 foliar sprays of mancozeb at 2.5 grams per liter. Lastly, pests. Several different pests occur in mung bean fields, and these can significantly reduce mung bean profitability, yield, and seed quality, with damage ranging from 80 to 100% if no control is undertaken. These pests include flower thrips, which cause flower abortion, pod borers, whose immature larvae feed on leaves, pods, and seeds, causing heavy losses. These pests can be controlled by applying insecticides, for example, cypermethrin 5 EC at budding, flowering and podding stages. Now that we have looked at these crop management practices, this brings us to the end of this video. We hope that these tips will make you a better farmer and help you better manage your green gram garden. Good luck and thank you for watching.